Hi everyone, I'm greeting you from Tasi. So finally guys, I made the most requested video in my YouTube channel which is Yuta's Accommodation Plan! So the behind reason I made this video is because I'm also a student and I am also understand the struggles and curiosity in finding how Yuta's accommodation looks like So there will be two parts of the room tour video The first part of the video which is the video you just watched right now Will consist in John Fisher and Christ College room tour And the other part of the video which is part 2 will consist in uni apartment in Sandy Bay And Melville apartment in the city room tour so i really really hope this video finds you well and help you a lot so without any further let's get into the video first thing first once you arrive in the uni accommodation specifically in sunny bay you'll see this big entrance right over here and you just need to walk through it <laughs> this place is basically the center point of the whole uni accommodation and here is the student living office where you do your check-in your mail and all sorts of document stuff move on to the next room there is a laundry room slash computer room and for your information you need your student id card to access all the room available in the uni accommodation there are also a vacuum cleaner provided for you and it's all free on the other side there is an extra place for letters as well in this computer room more information you still need to pay to use the printing machine and then next i call this public laundry room as both christ college and uni apartment residents share it all together there are six laundry machine and seven dryer available here and then we go back to the entrance and you can use this way to go to john fisher dorm however i'll show you the christ college dorm first so we're gonna go straight basically there are two roads to go to the christ college dorm but i'll go with the main bed way first on that side there is a canteen called peppers they sell pretty good food and variety of choices in decent price and then by walking this way it leads me to christ college dorm in particular there are seven different buildings with seven different name places right above the gateway as you can see the first building right over here is girl building which is the closest one with the main entrance there is two bathroom and one kitchen available each floor here there is also an express space for you to hang out with your friend next we're gonna go explore more about christ college on my right side there is may building with this good view of mini garden i guess <laughs> straight ahead i'm gonna show you the sharing facilities first such as kitchen dining room conference room and many others oh my god the sun kind of give a little bit warm effect in this awesome weather next here are the other side of may and girl building looks like Christ College dorm have more room available compared to John Fisher so I guess you guys don't no need to worry about a limited quantity room or space and yeah just make sure you choose the one that suits your preference best by going this way yep this way right here it leads me to the other entrance of christ college and girl building that i yeah say previously i can totally read that girl building have one of the most nicest view in the uni accommodation just look at this view oh my gosh i am you guys and then move on there is a conference room where some event oftentimes held and yeah it looks actually quite pretty simple and then next to the conference room there is a spacious dining room available they also provided you with locker for each room so you can put your cookware in there um well it's actually looks quite 
comfortable, isn't it? And then this dining room is connected with this sharing kitchen. You basically provided with general kitchenware such as oven, microwave, and yeah, many more. And again, you are free to use all the facility right over here as long as you are the uni accommodation residence. And then there is a connecting door which leads you to 2C building which is another kind of Christ College building. And then next, carry on, I'll go back to the first bed I used to show you the Barrett building. As you can see, it's quite pretty big building right over here. And then again you have to use your student ID card to access the room once you enter the room you'll directly run into a pool and then there is also a tennis table and some study desk on the right side there is also a mini lounge with some bin bag sets provided oh wow fancy going up you'll see the main lounge area where you usually um, they hold movie night here which is well yeah you can meet up with other few friends and make friends actually there and then Barrett has fourth floor and each floor uh, have their own kitchenette equipped with kettle microwave and also sink and then yep it actually looks like this go on there is another laundry room and you are free to choose which one you're gonna use like this one or the other room opposite to the student living office and then pass along this alley there is more space where some residents yeah oftentimes hold a party here and then going straight we'll see the webster building but Unfortunately, I can't enter the room, but overall, this is how it looks like. And then, going back from that side, you can see the main lounge and doodly building from outside. And then finally, last but not least, the Christ College building, which is the Nixon building. So, I will show you how Christ College rooms looks like so here's the Christ College room looks like it's actually quite pretty similar with John Fisher so first thing here you got mirror and there is also like a wardrobe for you to put your stuff here and one thing that i noticed is you got an extra lamp here and move into this side you got this desk so you can like use this desk to study or do your stuff mm, you got this lamp as well however here you got a pretty big one storage while meanwhile in John Fisher it's kind of like separated uh, each both sides and next uh, here you got an extra place to like place your stuff here and there and I'll show you how's the view looks like So move on to this side, you got a bed, however, um, blanket and pillow and stuff, it's not provided, so you gotta buy it from Kmart first. And then next, move into this side, you also get this fridge for you, and yeah, it's quite similar with John Fisher and here you have the hanger and yeah I think that's it
Here you go, this is how the bathroom looks like and yep, this is a unisex bathroom but in fact you can choose female only floor so they will give you the room as long as there is still some spaces left now i'll take you guys around to john visitor dorm on the left side of the main entrance there is another way to go to john visitor again there is two way to go to john visitor and i'll go with the main entrance for me john visitor certainly have the most prettiest entryway as i remember when i first arrived there there are many flowers blooms on the left side, there is a study room where you can catch up your material with the computer provided. Carry on, you'll see another door, but it is actually a connecting door to the Pepper's kitchen. While next to it, there is a multifunctional room where there is a sofa, chair, table, and piano available there. It is one of the most marvelous room in the John Fisher right here. Next, let's go inside the dorm. The first room you'll see right after you enter the launch area, which is, is the launch area. You can chill, watch a movie, or even do your assignment here. It is a very pretty basic lounge room. Well, but compared with Christ College, I guess this is like more comfortable. But yeah, it's again preference. Next, going this way, you can go either upstairs or even downstairs. But first, I'll let you guys see the laundry room first. Same as Christ College, there is also a kitchenette in each floor. Then continue here, there is a laundry room made especially for John Fisher residents. It is so nice for us as we don't need to go outside to do the laundry and stuff. Move along, there is a garden where some herbs or spices grow there but to be honest i'm not really sure about what type of herbs or spices or maybe like plant grow here and yeah i think that's it here you can also see a quick overview of john fisher building and then we're gonna go back inside where the layout of John Fisher Alley is literally the same in every single floor so I'll just show this floor to minimize the length of video next I'll go to the first floor first to show you the sharing kitchen and dining room before I show you the room and then yeah this is it the kitchen of john fisher door it's not that big compared to christ college but it is definitely a super lovely kitchen right here where i can meet all amazing people students that also study in university of tasmania Finally, then I'll show you how the John Fisher rooms looks like. So first thing first, when you come to this room, there is a big wardrobe here. Basically, you can put all of your stuff, your clothes, your pants, and anything else. Move on to the other side. There is more storage provided for you. I will show you how it looks like. And then next, there is a study desk available here. It is also provided with this chair, which is so nice. And more storage. Next is, they also give you this heater and it will be very necessary in winter next there is a bed 
and it's quite comfortable I can say because they also provide you with this like bed lamp I guess and yeah but a disclaimer um, first thing first when you first arrive here they didn't provide any bed sheet or pillow so you have to buy it separately they just provide you with the mattress and the mattress topper next to this side there is a fridge for you it's quite spacious and then there is also a mirror right over here and then yeah i think that's it for john fisher room tour